Welcome down to the picturesque Mayfield Cricket Club for what will be our first league match in the 2023 campaign. The sun was shining finally and we've got an absolute belter of a Sussex Premier League match for you today. Today's hosts may feel back up into the Prem this year having gained promotion and they won the toss opting to bowl first. We have James Russell and Sam Cooper opening up taking on the first over which is to be bowled by Mayfield's overseas and capped West Indian bowler Keon Harding. And it's a great start for TBCC. Russ with that glorious drive in the first and Coop's going 6-6-6 six, six, six in the second to really get us off to a flyer. Great effort from the fielder and got to commend the honesty, holding his hands up to admit the ball came up just short. So the runs keep on coming and in the first 10 over power play the score 86 for naught, and Mayfield now opting for some spin to try and stem the runs and pick up a breakthrough. Having survived that reprieval to bring up his first 50 of the season, Coops falls later that over to a sharp court and bold by the Mayfield skipper Sharma. Yeah. Number three at 97 for one strolling out is Connor Golding looking to build on a great first stand. Yeah. 
And without adding any more to the score, Russell is also dismissed. 97 for Nort becomes 97 for two in the space of about six balls. So it's over to the overseas Thorn Parks in his first outing in a Sussex League match. So yeah, Thorn Parks is our club overseas for this year. A little fortuitous to survive that half chance. He's over for the summer from Dunedin, New Zealand, where he made his breakthrough season for the Otago Vaults. And what a shot that was from him. Hopefully many more of those to come this season from Parksy. 18 overs and the rate hasn't dropped too much from the power play to score 132 for two. So halfway into the innings, or not, Connor and Thorne are flying and building on that platform built by Russ and Cooper. Con judged to have got a little tickle on that, bringing up his first 50 of the year as well. Connor Golding just doing Connor Golding things and slamming that one right into the sight screen. And following Coops and Connor before him, Thorne also gets to the milestone today. This partnership now over 100 and the score 215 for two from 33 overs. Just 10 more runs needed for max batting points.
These two batting so fluently together and matching each other blow for blow. We'll need a spare ball, please, umpire. So just 10 overs to go now and with 270 on the board already, 350 has really got to be a minimum now. And Mayfield finally get a wicket they've been after. 199, the partnership between Connor and Thorne. Con just pops that one up and departs 13 short of three figures for 87 from 90 balls. Which brings in the little crawly terrier, skipper Joe Walker, to see out the last seven and a bit overs. And having promised the boys to bring out the scoop second ball, Walker delivers and gets going with boundaries from his first two balls. But despite the skipper's best efforts, he can't take the headlines away from this bloke. Thorne Parks brings up his century on his Sussex League debut. What a fine inning, sir. Parks' great innings finally ends. Caught at long on and having been such a thorn in their side today, I'm sorry. Mayfield rightly commend him for his impressive innings. Walker's still piling on the runs and having maybe got a little lucky with that one, gives it a little thumbs up friend down the lens. And in just 23 balls and now in the final over, walks the fourth man to reach 50 today. But then departs going for one too many. So that rounds it up and finishing up on 371 for five, which is potentially our highest ever Sussex Premier League total. James Russell and Sam Cooper setting the tone, Connor Golding and Thorne Parks continuing through the middle and skipper Joey Walker continuing at a strike rate over 200 at the death. Man, that was probably as good a first innings as we could have hoped for. Again, massive congrats to Thorne for that ton on league debut.
But having rested up and been treated to a spectacular Mayfield tee, Connor Golding kicks things off with the new ball for us. And from the other end with the other new ball is Aaron Brown. Having to really capitalise on the first power play to get the inning started, Mayfield lose their first as Aaron causes a mistimed pull to be caught by Ben Caden in the ring. So 42 for one from the first eight, the hosts going at sixes currently, with the rate just above seven and a half needed per over. And another missed time Paul gets a wicket. Connor perhaps surprising the batsman with a short length ball to the short boundary, and Coops in the deep makes no mistake. A rather unlucky way to go for the batsman, playing it onto his pad and then onto the stumps. But Connor won't be complaining, and with three wickets and ten overs, Mayfield are in need of a partnership or two. The Mayfield oversees to the crease, and being called for a quick one, pulls up with a hamstring struggle. Trust me, those hurt. It's just cramped though, and after a short delay and a couple of salty drinks, he continues at the crease. Bobbling between the wickets and still being in a bit of pain, Harding retires hurt with the hope of returning later on if required. A little period here the viewers love to comment about. A couple of tough chances go begging, but that one from Thorne wasn't a tricky one to say the least. Yeah! That one though was a great catch from the Terrier. Rowan gets the edge and Walker keeps his shape and palms are up to catch on the second attempt. Mayfield lose their fourth wicket with the score at 105 in the 24th over.
Bit of resistance in the middle overs from the hosts and Joe chopping and changing the bowlers regularly. With 20 overs left, Mayfield need 219 runs from 120 balls. George Cave takes the catch off his own bowling to get us to the halfway stage and get the fifth Mayfield wicket. And not long after, picks up his second. Connor Golding showing Thorne how to take them at mid on. Keon Harding returns to the crease though, having stretched out his hamstring. And he won't be looking to do much running between the wickets. And the big wicket falls to Aaron Brown. His good mate with the gloves, Joey Walker, taking that steepler over the shoulder. Sam Cooper with another catch and another wicket for Brownie has the hosts at 214 for eight. And with a chase looking far from likely, their main target will be the max batting points awarded at 225 runs. So Jimmy Russell tossed the ball and he also gets in on the act with that caught and bowled. Now just one wicket to win on a day that's seen in excess of 600 runs scored. And that seals the match, Rowan and Aaron combining for the final wicket. And 14 of the 15 wickets today catches, which tells you the story of a great batting track, I suppose. Mayfield finish up 244 all out, which means a 127 run victory and a 30 point win for the Bridges boys. An amazing way to start this season's league campaign. Next up, we take on the other newly promoted side back in the Prem, Cookfield at home. We've also got footage from Sunday's Bertie Joel Cup fixture against Kent Outfit Blackheath coming this week too. So stay tuned for that one. Thanks everyone for watching and we'll see you next time. Cheers.